Originality is important to certain people in rock music. The perception that you are being copied, or even mocked, affects one's ego a lot, especially when we are talking about vocalists. For over 30 years, Keaties and Faith No More singer Mike Patton have been involved in an ongoing feud. The Red Hot Chili Peppers and Faith No More initially harbored a friendly rivalry, being responsible, along with Fishbone, for creating a more funk-influenced rock subgenre. That all changed with the arrival of Mike Patton to the San Francisco group. Faith No More exploded in 1990 with the album, The Real Thing, and its single, Epic, whose video, in heavy rotation on MTV, stirred something in Anthony Kiedis, in the official Red Hot Chili Peppers biography. By the way, the singer spoke about seeing Patton in Epic. I watched the video for Epic and seeing him jumping around, rapping, and it felt like I was looking into a mirror, Kitty said. At the time, the Los Angeles band had yet to break out with Blood Sugar Sex Magic. Witnessing someone reach the top 10 of the charts by seemingly stealing their mannerisms pissed Keaties off to the core. In an interview with Kerrang! In 1990, Anthony meant no words. My drummer says he's gonna kidnap Patton, shave his hair off, and cut off one of his feet just so he'll be forced to find a style of his own. Patton responded to these comments in a diplomatic manner. He pointed out that any similarity is only superficial, considering the sonic difference between the two groups. While the Red Hot Chili Peppers pulled more towards traditional funk, Faith No More also drank metal and experimental, which proved to be in subsequent releases. The two took shots at each other in the media throughout 1990. The relationship was thought to have improved in the ensuing years, with Keaties and Patton having face-to-face -face encounters in the 1990s that were described as friendly. Initially, that was it, but the beef took sharper and more pointed contours in 1999. The Red Hot Chili Peppers were about to make their triumphant comeback with John Bruce Honey on the album, Californication. And Mr. Bundle, Mike Patton's original band, was going to release their first album in four years, California. Both works were scheduled to be released on the same day, June 8th, by the same label, Warner, to avoid confusion due to similar titles, the Mr. Bundle has been moved to July. Until then, everything is okay. The problem really started when several big festivals canceled the band's shows. Mr. Bungle Revenge came in the most childish way possible. During a Halloween concert in Pontiac, Michigan, Keaty's home state, the group took to the stage in costume as the Red Hot Chili Peppers. They then began playing parodies of songs by the Los Angeles group with an emphasis on making fun of several members' struggles with heroin addiction, as well as the deaths of guitarist Hillel Slovak and actor River Phoenix, a friend of the band. Patton continued to make tasteless jokes at the expense of Keaties and his heroin past in interviews for his other project, Phantomos. In one of them, he even claimed that those festival cancellations ruined Mr. Bungle. Keaties only spoke publicly about the accusations made by Patton in the official Red Hot Chili Peppers biography, by the way, where he made numerous offenses against them. Since then, the bullshit seems to have been lukewarm. In an interview with Bizarre Magazine by LA Weekly, in July 2010, Mike Patton spoke of animosity as something that was in the past and would probably embrace them if he saw them today. Keaties never spoke on the matter after the official Red Hot Chili Peppers biography. However, the group played We Care A Lot at a warm-up show for their Super Bowl 48 halftime performance in 2014. Some interpreted it as indirect, as it was a Faith No More song released before Mike Patton joined the group, Chuck Mosley recorded the vocals. Others saw it as a sign of peace between the two sides. Several publications, such as Complex and Phoenix New Times, have since listed the Keaties, Patton feud as being one of the best beefs in the history of rock. What is your opinion on the feud of these two?